Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Alex, but you can call me Default. Welcome back to the channel. And today, we are finally doing the video I've been wanting to do all year. You guys voted on Twitter to do it at the end of the year, so we're doing it now. But we're here for the whole Funko collection. I know, it's crazy. I have literally so much behind me you can see here. So, we're going to be going through all of it today. Every single one. I believe we're at 350 plus items. I'll have to screenshot it and put it on the video. But let's get right into it. I'm going to clean up a little bit so you guys don't have to see a mess. But we'll start over in this corner of my room. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys. So starting off the video, these are pretty much all my pops I'm selling right now. So you can see I have the huge black light Killmonger, the Flash, Zombie Falcon. There's this Game of Thrones one right down there. Alfred E. Newman, which, yes, I did end up selling that one because I'm like, I have the chase. I don't really need to keep the common, too. And then you have Lucky, which this one, funnily enough, is the chase, because me and my girlfriend both got one, and we both got, yeah, and we both just both got the chase. And then I have a few spikes beagles back there, because I really wanted that chase, and then a quake. Right over here, you guys can see, this right here is the Fright Night box from this year, and then there's a few things from the Bayonetta box, as well as News of the World, one of my probably favorite pop albums and then that stuff over there is my girlfriend so i don't really want to hear anything in the comment section guys I, I know i know someone's gonna say something so and then right over here are all my bulky pops i'm gonna show you guys them later on whenever i see them in the video but the only one that is in the box right here is actually my black and white colossal titan which this is probably one of my favorites and it's one of my most expensive pops which fun fact i got this one for 50 bucks like earlier this year when it was like around $300, so that was a pretty crazy moment. Also, don't mind the stuff behind me. It's literally just all of my shipping stuff, but down here is all of my My Hero Pops. I can kind of show you guys some of my favorite ones in a second here, but those are all those. Right here is all of my Demon Slayer Pops. I am still missing Muitra, unfortunately, so I will get him at some point. And then back there is a few other ones. And then right here is my full complete collection of the Persona 5 Pops. And I have them all out of box. And I think they look amazing. Those, This is probably my favorite complete set. Finally, we have the sodas up here. And this is every single one. Ooh, I guess a few of them fell down. And these are all the chases I currently have at the moment. And there's one more that I'll show you guys in a second once we get over there. But yeah, I have a decent amount of sodas now. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. So here are all of my My Hero Academia pops. Like I said, there are a lot of them. So I did just honestly want to show all of them off just because, I don't know. Like I said, it is an entire collection video. But if I were to pick some favorites out of here, I'd probably have to go with my boy Tokoyami. He was my mascot for a little bit. But besides that, I'd probably go with Kuro Giri, which this one's a like glow-in-the-dark Target exclusive. And then also, I really like Overhaul, too. Um, there's a lot of good choices for this set. But yeah, I this is a pretty good set of mine. I'm not as much of a fan of the show anymore, but that's all of these. And then I'll also show you guys all of the Demon Slayer ones as well in a second here. Alright guys, so here are all of my Demon Slayer ones that were behind it. And I'll just show off the ones up front here as well again. Which, this one actually is the Nezuko in box. I just have the box somewhere else. Um, and funny story about him, I literally waited, like, pretty much half a year to a year for this one to come out. I mean, all of them took a while to come out, but he took the longest. And then here are also the Persona 5 pops I have that were hidden behind. And I did keep all for one out because I want to show you guys something. So, when I was, like, taking him and moving him, I, like, heard a noise. So, like, listen. You can kind of hear, like, a noise, right? I took him out of the box, and it's literally his head, so I don't know, guys. He might be one of the one Funko Pops as a brain, which is kind of cool. But yeah, so that is all of these ones over here. Alright, guys, so now we are at my giant Funko wall. The one that I made a whole video about. Um, yeah, it's just, this is the Funko wall. And this is the very top stuff that we have here. Uh, these are like all just like the bulkier Pops. And then we've got down to the Pokemon one right here. So we've got Alakazam, Mewtwo, Lucario, Ponyta, Dragonite. And then this is my Freddy and Stranger Things pop. 
wall, or I guess you could say a section. So we have my Danny Phantom one. That I I had to buy this one, but I love it. And then we got Carnage. We've got the two from the Fright Night box. And we've got the Russell one, which I don't know why I have him on display. I fucking hate him. But we got Demogorgon Robin, the most sought after Funko Pop of 2022, I would call it, besides Luffy. Dustin, and then the Scoops of Hoy Steve from Baskin Robin. This is my horror area right here. So everything, you know, pretty much just horror adjacent. So we've got Ghostface, which this is the fake one, by the way. The real one, I'll show you guys later. We've got Leatherface, Freddy, Michael, Ash, which I do have the chase of him, but he's not up here. We have Jason, Papa Legba, which you guys saw these two. Uh, Twisty and Papa Legba over in the Comic-Con video. Pat Bait, of course. And then Leon, which I actually just got this one a day or two ago, which I'm so happy because I really love that one. Next, we have the pretty much the gaming category area. So we've got Bayonetta, Tracer. Uh, we've got Dark Voyager, which is like a Comic-Con one. Reaper, Junkrat, um, Axel. That's his like English name, Lee, I guess. Or not English, sorry. Is a uh, non. I forget what they're called. But anyway, we got Swampfire with the con sticker. Guy with the con sticker. Sly Cooper, Target Kong Knuckles, or. Target Con, what the fuck? Okay, Target Con, yeah. And then down here is basically just my Disney, Marvel, and DC. So we've got Scarecrow, Emperor Joker, um, another Scarecrow, which is the Batman animated series, Scarecrow Imposter, Harley Quinn, you're my stitches, and like, you know, I guess there's one other one there. So there's all of them. And just, like I said, the Disney Expo, Lucifer. And I've got my Marvel area, which we've got Mr. Knight, Green Goblin, Moon Knight. We've got Gambit, and we also have another Moon Knight. So that is the first layer of the Funko Wall. So here's the second layer, guys. Um, here's the Pokemon Pops first. So I got Charizard, we've got Mew. And I'll also just show you guys the back layer for this one, because I don't really want to go back and film it. But we've got Vaporeon, we've got a regular Pikachu waving, we've got the Flock Pichu, which is pretty cool. We've got Squirtle, and then we've got Charmander, so I'm just missing Bulbasaur for that one. And then we've got Birthday Freddy, Freddy Zombie, Polly Pitch with the Con Sticker, which this one, that one also kind of pissed me off. We'll talk about that maybe in another time. Um, we've got the Freddy Funko, which is Destro, if I'm correct. Flayed Billy, Robin, Mike, Steve, another Steve um this one's just the battle armor that one's just the regular one from season four and then we've got rubber man from Ho american horror story season one we've got some lost boys ones here so we got sam emerson and michael emerson we've got pennywise the original uh victor which this is one of my favorite punko pops actually we've got booba with his hand out and a hammer we've got pennywise with his head to the side of a balloon and we've got the hot topic exclusive michael myers um, from H2O. Down here, we've got Johnny Silverhand, Geralt, uh, I want to say her name is Gian. We've got Werehog, the Con Sticker Rubik's Cube, which this one I found at BAM, which funnily enough, even though I should have gotten this one at the con. Uh, we've got Tracer, Cuddle Team Leader, Rex, McCree, and yes, I will say McCree, Genji. And then down here, we've got Rocket, America Chavez, We've got Spider-Man, the Bug-Eye Armor. We've got the Riddler from the Batman. Scarlet Witch, Gwenom, Sylvie, Hades, Oogie Boogie, and then Vulture. Alright guys, so finally the last layers of all of these. We've got Bob and Scrubs, Billy, Dustin, Steve with the sunglasses. We've got Mike, Robin, Eleven, Steve with bandana, and Steve in the Scoops Ahoy outfit. Those are both on my desk. Right over here, we've got the glow in the dark fye exclusive leprechaun we've got john wick of the dog we've got brandon brayer we've got jack torrance which i don't have the chase unfortunately we have david from lost boys we've got pennywise but it's just him doing a regular pose this time and then we've got shorty from killer clowns down here in the gaming area we got moira we've got zoe we've got silver we've got genji we've got mercy widowmaker Raven from Fortnite, we've got Ash, 
Skull Trooper from Fortnite, and in the Dark Voyager, this is the regular one. And then finally down here in the Marvel DC Disney area, we've got a bunch of these like anniversary Batman ones. So we've got Batmite, um, we've got Red Sun Batman, we've got the Devastator, we've got the Batman Joker Gone Wild or something like that, Joker's Wild. Uh, this is the AAA anime exclusive Spider-Man. I don't have the chase of that, unfortunately. We've got Jose, which is, that's one of my girlfriend's favorites. We've got Lumiere, Zoom, Batman Who Laughs, and then Cruella. And that is the whole Funko wall there for you guys. All right, guys, so moving on to the next area. This is the little, I guess you could say, shelf behind my desk. That's pretty much just my manga shelf, as well as my, like, anime-only pop area. But first off, let me show you this. This is a custom that my parents got made for me for when I graduated. Uh, it's just me from like a few years ago. You can see I'm like holding like a mic. I've got it on my checkerboard shoes, of course, and in my headset and in one of my shirts I don't really wear anymore. Then we see the goat itself, the Luffy on Thousand Sunny. I love this pop. Uh, there's the out of box of the Oogie Boogie. Here's a bunch of Christmas sodas and this is that chase I was talking about that I said I have uh it's just the flock Rudolph my girlfriend actually pulled that one and then we've got a few Christmas pops back here and yeah so that's everything up here and then on this shelf there's only one pop but it's just the attack on titan female titan just the regular one and then I'll show you guys the front rows of these so these are all just grails right here this is my light pop my Ryuk pop and then my L pop and then I have like the main, I guess you could say main three of Hunter x Hunter. So you got Gon, you've got Killua, which I don't have the chase of that, which kind of sucks, but oh well. And then we've got Hisoka. And then down here, we've got another Killua, that's him with the yo-yo. We've got Illumi, we've got Nami, Usopp, Sabo, and then Buff Chopper with the shared sticker. And then I will show you guys the layer right behind it next. All right, guys. So here's the next row then for that. So you can see we got Komugi. We've got Aoka. We've got Ymir's Titan. We've got Fully Hollified Ichigo, which I don't have the chase of. Same thing with Luck Voltia. Uh, we've got Jack. We've got uh, Gojo down here. Sorry, I know this is a little bit dark down here. But we've got Asta, Okiora. And then Mario Leona, which I'll just show you guys the rest of them that are behind this too. So we've got Yuji. Oh, that was the con one. We've got Cleaning Levi. We've got the Aron Host Club twins. We've got Genos, which this is another grill I have. He's just sitting back here though. And then finally, I've got Monokuma there because obviously I gotta rip the Danganronpa, of course. And then I'll just show you guys behind this one, too. So we've got Saitama, which I don't know why I don't have him together with the other ones. Uh, Tatsumaki, or Terrible Tornado. We've got Bertolt. Uh, there's Sasuke. And then we got Itachi of Crows. And then finally, Queen Historia. And that is pretty much my whole anime shelf then here. And then there's all my manga. That's a whole separate thing. Oh, and One Piece cards. And a uh, Lush Bath Bomb of Chopper's Devil Fruit. But yeah, that's, that's this whole shelf. Yeah. And in this little area right here is all of my chases. I just have like a little display here. So we've got Eleven. We've got Edward Elric. Uh, that's actually a pop pin, the only one I have. Then you've got the Alfred E. Newman. You've got a turtle chase. You've got Mandy, Ash, Dipper, uh, Gloomy Bear, Demogorgon, Hanako, uh, Doctor Strange, Guillaume, Goku, and Andral. So that's all of my chases right there. So up here is all of my Stranger Things stuff. Right here are like my pops I have here. So I have all the blacklight ones. And I also have the Argyle and Van out of box, which that was one of the boxes you saw. And you've got the 11 one right down here. Right here. And then down here are all of my other pops that I'm selling. So I've got my Yelena Chase. You've got the Glowing Mr. Burns. Sylvester and Tweety from Space Jam. Cassian Andor, Yoda, Marvin, Cobb Vamp Chase, Hunter Ron Chase, Ray. Um, and then there's Greatest Showman. 
there's a Gambit, and then there's the Chase of Bo-Katan. So these are all my pops that I'm pretty much just selling right now. So guys, right up here with my clothes is where I have all of my Blacklight pops, or a good majority of them. You'll see a few more in a second here. But like you can see, we've got Pennywise, Dr. Facilier, the Blacklight Bandit, uh, we've got Jumbo, Jimi Hendrix, and then Captain America. Over here at my TV, I have a few more pops. So we've got the giant Conchu one. We've got the Moon Knight, like comic book cover. There's Tondro versus Rui. Uh, right over here, you can see the Going Merry. And then also, you can see the, what is this? The Ninetale Fox, uh, not, I was about to say Nagito. Naruto, sorry. And right here is actually, it's kind of hard to see because I don't have the right light on. So this is the Aaron signed by Bryce Pappenbrook. I actually really do like this one. And he put a number one right here because it was my very first signed pop. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. And then finally, here are a few of my miscellaneous pops that are like just kind of scattered around my room. So I've got Zero and Mayor. Those are my other two blacklight pops I was talking about. This right here is my very first ever Funko Pop. That is my Jack Skellington Pop. Unfortunately, I don't have the box for it anymore, but that's him. We have the Popsy, the only Popsy I own, which is Jack Skellington. This is my Jumbo Charizard that's usually at my desk, but like I said, it's not there because of the winter stuff I have. And then these are my two most expensive Pops. So we've got Benson from Regular Show and then Ghostface. I love these Pops. They're two of my favorites. Oh, and one last one I forgot is my Lilo and Stitch Pop moment. I actually really like that one too. So guys, that's going to be all of my Pops I have, at least the ones I have in my room here. I do have a bunch more that are actually in storage. I just didn't drag them out because one, it, they're just kind of really stuck in there. And two, I didn't want to make the video go on for too, too long. So I'll tell you guys what, if this video gets at least, I want to say five or eight likes, then I will go and I will dig them out and I will do a follow up and I will show you guys all of those too. Or we can just wait until next year um and i'll include them in that one i'll leave that up to you guys but with that being said i will see you guys next time have a good one happy new year peace